Well, it could be considered a fisherman's dream. Donegal Lake in Westmoreland County is being drained, and volunteers are scooping up trophy bass with big nets. Now, the fish will get new homes in a different lake while the Fish and Boat Commission rebuilds a dam and a spillway. Ross Gadotti has more. Today is the second day of operations trying to get as many fish out of Donegal Lake as they can before construction begins. And the fact of the matter is they were very busy because there are a lot of fish to be recovered. Formerly picturesque, Donegal Lake is really nothing but a mud flat now. But where there is still water, there is a spectacle to behold. We're doing a Donegal Lake fish salvage. Waitered up and equipped with small nets, volunteers and state officials hauling out the small fry to the very big guys from the waters in and around the now drained lake. Your arms tired yet? No. <laughs> When you're pulling fish out like this, you never get tired, no matter what they are. The aim's simple, get the fish out, bring in the big machines next. So that construction can begin on redoing the dam and the spillway on the lake. Fins abound, the collections bringing in some amazing specimens. Very impressed, impressed with the numbers, the size. This largemouth bass is incredible, and any fisherman would be blowing up his Facebook page if he landed this walleye. But we probably moved uh, with the carp included uh, probably 3,000 pounds. Fishing, this is not. It's more like a big aquatic roundup pushing the perch and the other breeds to barriers. Now, in reality, not all the fish are going to make it. Some simply will not be captured. Others aren't even supposed to be here like these carp. The game fish got it good, however. Once hauled out and dumped in a fish and boat commission tank, they are off to newer homes. We're trying to move as many of the game fish to four other lakes. A bit muddy, sure, but given the task at hand, from walleye to weather, it's been a great two days. We'll take this over snowflakes. Now, if all goes as planned, the construction will be done by 2018. They'll be restocking, and by 2019, anglers can go and try to get the fish again. At Donegal Lake, Ross Katie KTV News.